What is up, people? Skywalker Hendrix here, back with another video. A, and today we are looking at the Mandalorian Fleet Commander from the Black Series. Of course, this is kind of an interesting figure. Uh, it it, it kind of makes me salty a bit, in a way. Actually, it makes me a bit pretty salty. Um, I think. This figure, uh, the the budget for the new tooling for this figure, uh, should have went to Pre Vizsla. Um, I really think they dropped the ball. Um, I think everyone. I mean, if they never release this figure, no one was asking for it. Not saying I won't take it, and we love random random Mandalorians and all that. But uh, I I just really would have liked to see the budget go to Pre Vizsla instead. But at the end of the day, I have to accept that, you know, Pre Vizsla uh, was made on that old body and this guy uh, got some new tooling. So uh, let's get this guy out of the package. All right, and getting this guy out of the package, he does come with a few accessories. Uh, first up is his helmet. And uh, I called this guy the uh, true, re true religion trooper. Uh, if you guys are familiar with uh, the clothing brand True Religion, uh, the logo he has painted here, like, I don't know what makes it remind me of that. I think it's the color scheme a little bit too, but um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know my reasoning, but uh, yeah, um, very nice helmet. You know, I don't know. If this is a, uh, I don't know, you know, that's, I think this is a brand new helmet as it doesn't have the dent there. So at, at the least it's retooled from the Boba Fett helmet, um, which brings us into our second accessory, which is the jetpack. And I believe this is Boba Fett's jetpack just with a different tooled, um, little tip there. So, uh, I think this part is just reuse from that, uh, the Boba Fett, uh, most recent Boba Fett. So, uh, yeah, very, very nice, um, some nice chrome detail on there. And then he does come with one blaster pistol, a uh, very, uh, you know, we've seen this a ton of times by now and uh yeah gets the job done but this guy fell over he was getting a little sleepy um but uh yeah uh opening this guy like it just makes me it's like dude i mean this is so what we need for a new Django, and i pray i'm like praying that we get a new Django, and i'm thinking even about making one myself with the with parts from this guy um probably some parts from boba um but yeah i think we could get a fan freak fantastic Django uh from this from this uh parts from this guy at least i think the legs are a little too long for Django. i think if the legs are a little shorter which that's why i'm kind of leaning towards I, I don't remember off the top of my head what Django's uh, pants situation looked like, but I want to say he only had, like, these boot parts and then the kneecaps, and he I don't think he had thigh armor. Um, and I know his shoulder pads were different than this, that it was more of a, of a Boba Fett style. Uh, but, yeah, it just looks really nice, and I really, really, really want a good Django Fett. I mean... That's a really big hole in my collection, as uh, if you watch my Pre Vizsla review, that was my first time handling that body, which means I don't have a Django Fett. Um, I have thought about getting the SH figure arts for a long time now, um, but have just never really pulled the trigger. I have almost all of the other uh, prequel SH figure arts figures, but uh, Django was just one that uh, the old SH figure arts, as good as the human and Jedi characters are, the armored characters are so bad. So, um, it's just held me back. I know people say it's a decent figure, but 
it, it, it has held me back and I have been kind of just waiting for Hasbro to make a brand new one. But I don't know, like at this point with how they don't really like to remake old older characters, like especially from the same um, the same movie or whatnot, like they've made Boba Fett, they redid Boba Fett, but it's not the same Boba Fett they did. You know, it's a Return of the Jedi Boba Fett. And same with other characters they've redone. It's like, it's it's not that version. It's, you know, a new version or something like that. So, I don't know. Like, I just, I hope that doesn't limit Hasbro to being like, hey, we really need to make a new Django. Like, that is a hole in people's collections. That is just, and even if you do have that, old Django, it's like, it, it's not good, so, um, I really think Pre Vizsla would have been figure of the year if he was, you know, on a body like this, um, which, speaking of a body like this, let's go over articulation here, so he does have a double, uh, barbell type articulation at the neck, which does give him a ton of range there in the head, um, which is very nice, especially once you get that helmet on there, he does have the O-ring style shoulder pads, which we have just been seeing a ton of lately. I mean, which I think it's the best uh, route Hasbro has taken uh, thus far. We do have butters in there, of course, swivel down at the elbow. And he does get a, mm, about 90. Um, he does have back and forth on this hand and up and down on this hand, and these look like just reused uh, Mando hands. Um, he does have a ball hinge here uh, down at the waist, which does give him, again, just a ton more range there. And uh, I think these thighs are at least reused from the, um, the Death Watch Mando. Um, I, I believe so. He does have single joint down at the leg there and then swivel. He does have a thigh swivel, which makes me think that. And then that line there, uh, I think those are definitely Death Watch um, Mando thighs, at least. These boots are new, though. They are kind of a more, um, I'm trying to think, Shore Trooper type thigh armor but they look very nice and get the job done i do wish the gray i don't know like i'd have to go look at reference images from the show um because the gray does look a little plasticky i mean like it definitely doesn't give like a metal beskar vibe so um i don't know i think this guy could definitely benefit from a repaint um, I kind of, I like how the chest armor looks, but again, like the shoulder, you get to the shoulder pads or down here where it's just more defined and more sculpt work. I mean, that could use a, a dark wash on this guy would go like, it would do wonders for this guy. So, uh, definitely keep that in mind if you are the type to, uh, give your figures dark washes, but let's get into some comparisons. All right, and just putting the helmet on quickly, I wanted to show you guys this. I mean, oh, yeah, it, uh, I mean, I'm not even moving the head, and he's looking every which way, which, I mean, it doesn't really matter a ton, in my opinion. Like, it just makes it easier, but it is, I mean, it's... It's like a hot dog down the hallway, if you know what I mean. So, uh, yeah, that, I don't know, a concern for some, maybe. All right, and here he is next to Axe Woes. And, uh, yeah, just grab an axe off the shelf. His helmet is the same exact way, which, I mean, it solves my issue of <laughs> trying to figure out if the helmet was reused, because, yeah, it's definitely reused. These are the same exact helmets. Um... Which makes me think that they're a retool of the Boba Fett helmet and they just didn't decide to like resize them for the figure. Um, which, which like in 
Honestly, to me, I really don't care, but I could see that being a gripe for some. But nonetheless, these guys look absolutely freaking badass together, and I really like this dude's paint scheme. I mean, I love, like, the dark, uh, like, gray, gunmetal gray on um, Axe Woves, but I don't know. They just look really good together. All right, and here he is next to Mando, and this is the the very first Beskar Mando release. I believe he just has a custom. It's literally a piece of underwear cut up as a cape. Um, but yeah, they they look good together. And next up, we have Bo-Katan, and again, they look great together. And last but not least, we do have the SH Figure Arts Mando which is my main display Mando um, until the Mafex, the new Mafex comes. Uh, that thing is going to be the definitive Mando, I already know. So, uh, yeah, if you need a really great Mando figure, I know we've had a ton of them as of late, but, uh, I mean, the new Black Series one is is going to probably put this SH Figure Arts to shame, in my opinion, at least I think it could proportion-wise. Um, I love the SH Figure Arts Mando, but again, sometimes they're armored characters. Like, the helmet is a bit small on this figure, but uh, the Mafex one looks perfect. I mean, they nailed that one. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see the new Black Series one um, from Book of Boba uh, compared to the new Mafex. That's going to be a very interesting comparison and really a testament of how good Hasbro has gotten with $30 action figures. So at the end of the day, I think this is a fine addition <laughs> to the collection. Um, I don't think it's a necessary, but you know, with the Mandalorians, like, part of the fun of collecting is just getting, like, the reason I love collecting clones, because you just get an army of them, and it, I don't know, it's just fun, and especially with the Mandos, where they look a bit different, um, each and every one has their own kind of scheme to their armor, it's just cool, and I think that is, yeah, just a big reason people like collecting in the first place. I mean, that's the whole point of collecting. Um, you want to get each and every one. And, um, yeah, not a necessary pickup in my opinion, but a fun pickup and a cool pickup and just a figure you can pose around and have fun with. I mean, it's a great, great body. So, um, yeah, let me know if you guys are adding this guy to your collection down in the comments um you guys have been killing it on my channel as of late uh i just can't thank you guys enough and i'm gonna have a little thanksgiving special uh where i talk about the giveaway that i've been talking about forever now and uh uh yeah i just i am really excited to give back to you guys because this has been a big part of you know my journey, not to get too <laughs> sappy here, but my journey in life in general and finding things um, to keep my time occupied and not do bad things. And uh, it, it's kind of a therapy for me. So, and you guys have just, I mean, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Shout out to y'all. You guys are G's. Uh, keep it real. Um, yeah, I just, I can't wait. I can't wait. I, I, I wanna, I just want, I wanna hit a thousand so I can just give you guys some cool shit and say thanks. And, uh, yeah. Um, so that video will be coming. I'm gonna have some, some lists, some end of the year tier lists going on. All that fun stuff, uh, I'm going to plan on doing a video of like most anticipated releases. So I have uh, uh, some content definitely lined up for the end half of the year here. Well, the end two months of the year here. So stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't already. I am giving away two Hot Toys and SH Figure Arts, Anakin Skywalker, and a bunch of Black Series figures. You can enter 
on one of my videos. Go to go find a Darth Vader, mo one of my more recent Darth Vader videos, and uh, you can enter in the giveaway. Uh, so yeah, go do that. I love y'all. Y'all are freaking sick. Uh, keep it, keep it one hundred. A may the force be with you.